first quarter to man up. Also to get to the foot of the ball when the drive from center forward be around the packs there and uh, attack at all costs. Ronnie's back with us, just going to uh, light a gas, but there, Ronnie. Thank you very much. <laughs> Weird, uh, yes, interesting quarter of football here. Bree still rather blustery to the right of screen. It's got fresher, I'd reckon. It has. Definitely worth four goals, in my humble opinion. And, uh, yep, the half forwards of where we run up the ground. So uh, just James Ryan's down there in the goal square. Got Troy Shaw's got him. Is that right, Dean? Is that right? No. And Alistair Broad is picking up. Just can't pick him up. Anyway, the ball's bounced back in the centre. Here comes Bretton Vilchers. They want him to lift that he does. He grabs it out of the centre. He spirals the punt down towards the half forward blank position. Here comes Ryan out the middle. He couldn't pick it up. Troy Shaw does well for Batty Burn. Dummies back across the face of goal. His kick will have to be good. He's looked for East out wide. It clears East. Here comes uh, Luddick after East. He's also got a position there from Robbie Edgar. The boundary line might be the best option. Well played, young East. One on two there, did the wise thing, paddled it towards the fence, and over she went. We're sailing without a skipper at the moment. Yes, well, there you go. We'll get the scoreboard right now anyway. Barry Empire throws it back into play. <laughs> Taking it out of the air there, uh, that might have been Clinton Shaw. Couldn't get the hand pass away. They stack it on top of it once again. Right at the 50 metre line for Willoughby Central. So they trail by two goals early stages of the second quarter. And I just wonder, we might have a time clock this quarter as well, Ronnie. Sensational. I think our technical director's fixed all that. Oh, good. Ball up. Clinton Shaw gets a tap down towards the boundary line. There's a couple of Werribee players there. Edgar's one of them. Pilgrim comes in. Tough of the ball. Flanagan takes it out. And a boundary throw in. And uh, don't forget, Marty 4.9 uh, is country football. Guest video FM. Giving you a kick-by-kick -kick description out here at Osborne Park, North Geelong for the Division 1 95 preliminary final. Vilchens tries to take it out of the ruck. Josias was against him as a half forward, out of side. Umpire lets it go. Good play there by Field. Handball to Fraser. And he goes towards Edgar, but East cuts it off and sees the ball over the boundary line. And here we are. The big can of VB has arrived at last, Cookie. Have a look at this. We might get a shot of this in a minute from one of the boys on the uh, yes, cameras that's here. Yes, from Maniki out there too. Noel Tucker. Noel Tucker, my old mate. Fraser, left foot kick, long towards the David, teeth of goal. Is it going to bounce over? It has, I think. It's bounced through for a goal. All right, David, get you on the Great work. Oh, oh, dashing Darren Fraser. Bob's one. Bit of tax lot of luck. And that one, a bounce in the goal square. They've had five players about to claim it. A bounce on its end as our rival ball sometimes does. And not only a bounce on its end, it bounced backwards, sideways, and then through the goals. And uh, it's one of the board. And a good one for the Centrals. Early stages of this second quarter. So, 4-3, 27, and uh, that's Werribee. Banning burn 5-3, 33, six points of difference. GDFL Bingo Centre, second quarter scoreboard, back in the centre. The bounce. Here's that can. How about the size Look of this can? That's, can? that's Dick Philpott's carry pack. <laughs> <laughs> Comes towards centre-half forward. They've got the numbers there. Bannock burn at centre-half back, and it's Paul Smith again. Takes the mark. Goes grandstand side. Out towards Corey Flanagan from behind. Scott in front. Good play by Barth to tap it over. Over the shoulder, though, Andrew Scott gets a free kick. Advantage paid. Barry Delaney towards Luddick. Gets one high while trying to take the mark from Smith and will take the free kick at half forward. Certainly hurt that one, Luke Luddick. He's outside 50, but he is a raking left foot kick. He's got a short one on. Doesn't let to use it. Goes long. Punched away there by Smith. Ooh, it's tough out there, Roddy. Very much so. And the ball's got out of bounds, but Alistair Broad... Quite thankful it did, I think. Just holding the mouth guard a little. It's a boundary showing right in front of the uh, Geelong, football, Geelong Football Club social rooms. Jeez, a few, a few haymakers being thrown in that lot. <laughs> I wonder if anything connected with the ball or jaw. It was a free kick here for a high one. And uh, Paul Smith takes it. Hand passes well deep into his uh, defensive zone. Finds Troy Shaw. He goes over the top to Clinton. Shaw's in a bit of trouble. They're mucking around down here. He's got a bit of support. Got a little hand pass to Troy Shaw who kept coming. Kicks it out wide. Too wide, in fact, there for Matt Pilgrim. He might get a chance to run on it. Now he does. Picks it up just inside the line but loses it. Fraser appealing for out of bounds on the full, but it's out of bounds far side of the ground. Great tackle, Robbie, Robbie Edgar there on Matty East as well. Put him right out of the play. Throw in now. Matty Pilgrim at the front of the pack. Falls towards Edgar. In fact, it's Jackson. Right foot kick around the corner. The numbers. Alice is there. Back. Paul Smith takes the mark. A good grab too. He's a welcome addition to the Bannock Burns side after missing the previous game with injury. He's certainly showing why he's a premiership player at Port Arlington. Goes with his right boot. Out towards Colliger and Winter. But chipping in. 
No, it wasn't. Brad Spicer. Brad Spicer, but he yep. couldn't take the mark. And over the boundary line. Out of side. 5-3 plays 4-3. Goal the difference. Early goal to the centrals in this second term. Vilchens stands his ground. Can't take the ball with him, though. No. Has a second attempt. Handball at the back of the pack. Fraser through the pack towards Spicer. Gets around. Handball towards Barry Delaney. Running at half forward. Left foot kick. Long towards full forward. Field leads broad in the race for the ball. But he's out of bounds. Can't keep it in. 33 plays 27. Bannockburn lead by just one goal. This stage of the uh, second quarter. Ball now. 25 metres from the Werribee Central goal. Throw it back of the pack there. Uh, Clinton Shaw. Good support at ground level from Angus Stewart. And uh, he's quick kick though. And he travels a short distance. Well collared there too by Puppy Field. I think you'll find on the ground for the Centrals. Screws it back towards the goal. But there's a sea of Tigers there. Defending well. And the, out they go towards the boundary line. Good defensive football there from Alice to Broad. And a little bit of treatment there from Timmy Ellis. He's fired up, Timmy. He's still in the action down there. He's got the haircut now to go with it. So, <laughs> you'll be right. Throw in. Hewitt in front. Behind Smith, gets it towards the front of the pack. Troy Shaw goes left, then right, then kicks a point nearly for him. Oh, he has. He's gone through the goal. He's just about kicked the goal, <laughs> Troy Shaw. <laughs> He's got amnesia, Roddy. He forgot which end he's going to. Well, he's under a fair bit of pressure. At least he didn't put it out on the floor and give him a free shot at goal. He conceded the behind. And, uh, well, Werribee just kicked one point closer. They trail by just five points now as we wait on Paul Smith. He'll bring it back into play. It's a lovely kick. He heads out to the uh, grandstand side of the ground. Was looking for Tresai. The kick not uh, travelling towards him, though. Chance for the centrals here. A little kick's OK mark by Jackson. The kick came from uh, Robbie Edgar. Jackson kicks it inside the 50-metre zone to Vilchens, who drops in and takes the grab, and he should go back and have a shot for goal with the breeze behind him. Yeah, he'll, he'll kick from about 44 metres. Give this a big shake, he will. It's a big man. He's going to put the big foot in. But there he is right on the screen. Brenton Vilsons comes in. A right foot kick. It's a long one. It's high. It clears the pack. I think it's home. Yes, it's home. It just cleared the pack. And he kicks the goal. And the Centrals have hit the front. They're one point in front after a great goal kicked by Brenton Vilsons. Yeah, nice set up there, Brenton Jackson. Took his time. Could have played on, but didn't. Decided to go back and just wait for a better option. And then found the coach who slotted through a very handy goal. Early stages of the second quarter. The GDFL Bingo Centre, second term. Where are his centrals? 5-4-34. Bannock Bird, 5-3-33. And uh, we had a ball game, gentlemen. And a yawning Jason Doherty takes the call. Must have been a big night last night, Jason. Oh, it's, been a, it's been a very big weekend, in fact. Back in the centre now, <laughs> just a oh, shocking bounce. Falls towards Corey Flanagan. McClellan, left foot kick. Back towards the centre. Luttick in front. Wentworth from behind the punch. Through there, Paul Smith as well at the bottom of the pack. Gets one high, will take the free kick. Got a high one there in the middle of the ground from Luddick. So, Paul Smith. A bit like the Paul Smith show here at the moment. It is a bit, it? yep. He waits now, goes out of side. The lead from Ronnie Pilgrim, and it's a good kick and a good lead. Marks in front of Beck. The lead's on again, short kick. Damien Tom, the major, can't take the mark. Roving there, Beck, handball into the centre. Edgar tries to tap it on, gets it back himself, gets wrapped up towards Henderson. Gets around two tackles, drops the ball. Still goes through, can't get the ball in. Edgar's there also. It's on the point of the square at half forward. Well, one high there, but the umpire will come in and bounce the ball. That was the major on the bottom of the pack again. Pretty lively in the forward zone, the major. Central's lead by a point. At the Brenton Vilsons kick that long goal to put them back in front. Up goes to size. Vilsons wins the knockdown. Well, hand pass lands in the arms here of Brad Spicer, who runs through the centre of the ground. Spicer's kick in towards half forward. Out comes Ryan, who was he interfered with. Almost had the mark. At ground level, Fraser got a hand pass out. Intercepted, though. And uh, here, comes, here comes Paul Smith again. <laughs> this is a Matic Burns. Paul Smith, one, two, three, four bounces. He brilliantly shepherded. He runs his full distance, measures the kick towards short of half forward, and he finds his teammate out on the lead, the drainer, Shane Andrews, and he'll send Matic Burns into attack with his favourite left foot. Poor kick, though. Look for winner, but... Chipping in was Murray Travers. And he takes the mark at half back in front of the Bannockburn coach. Travers now goes long, looking for Vilchens from behind short. Taps it away. To, falls towards Scott. Tackled by Tresais. Now out. Good, good pass to Scotty Johnson towards Luddick. He sits and waits. Wentworth attacks the ball and sees it over the boundary line at half forward. 
Yeah, played quite well, Paul Wetworth as well. Kept Muddick to uh, only a couple of touches in that first quarter, doing the job at the back pocket for the Tigers. You'll need to keep doing it because Luddick can kick goals very quickly from that forward flank. Henderson does the ruck work. Might have won the knockdown. Went after it again, Rough Robbie. Beat one on this occasion there by Paul Smith. But uh, this is the Paul Smith for Willoughby Schedules. Ball up decision. Only one that can be applied. 55, 60 metres out from goal. Where we settles in a track and they lead on the scoreboard by just one point. It's 33 plays, 34. The Centrals have the ball in their forward zone. Brendan Jackson, it is good work there from uh, Jock Ride. Got it to Jackson who kicks it straight across the centre half forward. Matty Pilgrim does work there on Darren Fraser and beats him comfortably. Got support there, Clinton Shaw, who chips it up. Oh, the kick, not a good one. I'm not sure what he was doing there because there was no one home. But fortunately for the Bannockburn side, it's just beaten the outstretched arms of Darren Fraser and we'll have a boundary thrown on that outer side centre wing. Thrown in now. Shaw goes up, takes it out of the ruck. Quick right foot kick back towards the boundary line will beat Darren Fraser over. And the boundary umpire will do some work again. Not a lot of goals being scored in this quarter. We had eight kicked in the first quarter. And yeah, we've had just, uh, I think, two kicked yep. in this quarter, Roddy. Well, Bannockburn really need to defend and defend grimly, which they're doing, compliments of Paul Smith uh, for the Bannockburn side, as that boundary throwing has taken place. And uh, the pressure applied both sides has forced another ball up on that uh, outer side of the ground. And you've got Tresize now doing a battle with Vilsons. Vilsons got it to the direction of Fraser. Lovely work. The little fella punts it up there looking for the lead of, uh, it looks like, Field coming out, well out from goal. But uh, he can't trap it. Quick kick there, Robbie Edgar, under pressure. I think you'll find he was slung as he kicked the footy. Had good pressure there from the Bannockburn defence. Forced the error, and he's popped it over out of bounds. Angus Hewitt to take the free kick. Yeah, Jake's got it in the back pocket. Puts it on the boot, looks up towards half-back. Look for size. Too much carry on the football for him. Went past Collinger. He couldn't get it. Tackle here. Illegal one, I think, you'll find on Jackson for the Centrals. And he'll take this free kick. He's got to straighten up and go for centre-half forward. He goes inside centre-half forward with a long kick. It clears the back of the pack. Smith went the fist. Picked up by uh, Hewitt, I think it was again. It might have been Broad. Right foot kick out the half-back. No mark taken by Collinger. Centrals working the ball well. They chip it in towards the half-forward zone. Is that a mark paid down here? I think it is. Yep, uh, Paul Bath, he's, he was, did the right thing. He was in front, but the ball just a little bit well weighted for him. And Scott. a nice finger tipper by Andy Scott. Yeah, good grab too. He's under a bit of pressure. Had a couple of grabs it and tucked it under, under his, his wing as he fell to the ground. Scott now will be kicking from just inside 50. He goes now. Good kick off the boot too. Oh, straight yeah, through the middle. Kick. Fantastic kick. Beautiful kick. That's home. That's just increased the margin that little bit. There's seven points in front now of the Centrals. And, uh, well, they're using the breeze to effect. They've gained the lead and now got a little bit of a margin. Yep, three goals this quarter, and the ball hasn't been past the 50-metre line for Bannockburn so far. 6-4-40, Werribee Centrals, they lead Bannockburn 5-3-33 on the GDFL. Bingo Centre, second quarter scoreboard. Here, yeah, midfielders of the Tigers just got to work a little bit harder. They haven't had a real... Uh Decisive winner out of the middle. Back to the centre we go now. Vilsons again. Good work to Fraser. Vilsons butters up. Tops it down the throne of Edgar. Quick hand sliding, but it's gone straight to Paul Smith of the Bannock Bird side. And he brings it to the members' side of the win. Looks for Stormy Winter. This time they'll get it over the 50 metre line. Oh, no, I won't. The kick uh, just drops a bit short and in front there of the Major Tom. Good work there, Murray Travers. And he takes the ball at the back pocket for the <coughs> Werribee Central side. Grant stands side of the ground, kicks back to almost the centre wing. Up goes Jackson, no mark taken. Hand pass out the back. Here comes Scotty Johnson. Pushed off the football there by Bath. Good tackle, and Johnson, the ball spilled free. We see an interchange here. Tresai is coming off, and onto the ground comes Ian Evans. He can't do the ruck work, though. He couldn't get there in time. Robbie Henderson does that. Evans is in the play now. Couldn't handle the footy. Comes back to centre wing. Here comes Bath. Missed it. Went behind. Went back and got it. Well played, Bath. Tackled high for mine. Oh, he got pinned for holding the ball. Bit tough. Bit tough, yeah. He made all the play and then got penalised. The free kick going there to oh, Robbie Edgar. Oh, no. Oh, no. turn it up, you idiot! And uh, Roddy Brain offering some words of advice for the umpire on this occasion. Now that's a disgraceful decision. That's Sean Ryan making yes, that one right. That's that's a disgrace. He was just going to tackle him. I don't think there was anything wrong with that. Rose is on. Wentworth's off for that. There was nothing in it. 
But she paid it, didn't pay the 50, just paid a free kick yeah, further down up the, the field. field. Yeah. Still Spicer. Brad Spicer. Yeah. Goes up towards Timmy Ellis and Brenton Vilchin's leading. And Ellis has taken a mark and then been flattened after it. Looking a bit groggy as he gets up. Oh, yeah. I don't know whether it was when he hit the ground yeah, or when he, he hit his head. Yeah. I think it was when he hit the ground yeah. rather than uh, yeah. getting hurt in the actual marking contest. Of course, he's got no hair on his head to sponge it a bit, Ronnie, too. He would have hit pretty hard. Yes, yeah, certainly. The ground is obviously dried from all this wind we've had overnight. And, uh, there's not much water around today. We've got some a little cheer squad down here, too. There's some lovely ladies from Bannockburn supporting uh, his video this afternoon. And, uh, the I thought you'd notice them. Very wise words of wisdom as well. <laughs> OK. They won't be too happy here because Timmy Ellis comes in and goes for goal. It's a long kick from Timmy Ellis. He is a good kick. Might have just tripped it to the left-hand side. It has just one point only. Timmy Ellis gets one goal, one on the board. That's his personal tally. Scoreboard shows 5-3-33, Baddock Burn. And Willoughby Centrals have gone to... Better count these up here. 5 41 Thank you very much. Eight points of difference. Kick in again out towards <laughs> half-back. One, one hand mark. Couldn't be taken by Henderson. Back into the Werribee Central scoring zone. Paul Smith for Bannock Burn. Straight at the ball. Holds the ball up too. Pack develops on top of him. And up high, Nolan will come in and ball up. About 25 metres out from the Werribee Central's goal. Jason, the kick there come in from Big Vilchens. Oops, we see Luttick pushed out of there. He's lifted in the second quarter. Vilchens starting to get right into the game. He has. Luttick tries to tap it out. A little tap on towards Troy Shaw. Back towards half back. Darren Fraser will lead Flanagan to the ball, but won't be able to keep it in. And getting a bit windy up here as well. Yeah. <laughs> You're not kidding, Ronnie. Gee, those creepers. <laughs> what a lorry to goal he tell me one I thought they closed the sale yards down out here or something he said to me OK Barry Empire throws it back into play Evans versus Vilchens Vilchens wins the knockdown Evans gets the second gasp at it goes past Henderson Ronnie Pilgrim paddles it forward still play on the cork Troy Collager little kick round the body lands back well almost in the centre of the, of the turf here at Philpott Park Centrals gather kick towards half forward and there's a mark and a good one too to Paul Smith. And this is the Paul Smith of Werribee Centrals on this occasion. And he came back and can nearly have a shot for goal. He's not even going to go short. Ronnie, what were you going to say? Yeah, Clinton Shaw, a little unlucky, but should know better. Got caught on the wrong side of his opponent on that occasion. Bruce being dragged to the left, but he was on the left. You will be on their right, Cookie. Yes, Ron. OK, opportunity now. It's a young Edgar, is it? Yep, Robbie yeah. Edgar playing quite well. In the second Today. turn. Yes, he has. The lovely drop putt off the boot looks OK. Does it hold up on the bruise? No, it doesn't. He's just off to the near side. Oh, well, just fritting away a few opportunities here at the moment. The Centrals, they've got most of the play in this second quarter. Bannockburn haven't been able to put a major on the board yet. 5-3-33 to 6-6-42. With GDFL Bingo centre, second quarter scoreboard. Smith straight up the... Centre of the ground towards Henderson. He takes the mark. College now couldn't run. He's got Clinton Shaw as support. He was going to handball to him. He elects to kick. They are over the 50 metre line this time, just are they? No mark. Roland Beck gets one high from Andrews. And Roland Beck will take the free kick at half back. Goes across the ground. He's got McClellan as support. Right foot kick from him is good because they've switched plate. Now they've got Fraser. 10 metres in front of Troy Shaw. Short kick towards Vilchens. He's in front of Evans. Can't take the mark. Gets a push at half forward. And Vilchens will take the free kick. Ellis off and Harton on for the centrals. One baldy for another. Goes up towards Broad <laughs> and also Ryan. Broad now close to the boundary line. He can keep it in. Left foot kick goes to the boundary line. Is he going to find it in front of McClellan? He has. Good kick. Good defensive kick from Broad there. Timmy Ellis is not too good either. I don't think he's uh, semi concussed as yeah, well. I think you're right, Ronnie. He didn't look too good hard. as he came off. He didn't look too good when he took that kick either, but he's. Uh, He's off the ground now and Harton comes on. Wilchens goes up, wins this slap down. The Major Tom gathers at a ground level. Punt kicks the ball back towards, just forward to centre wing. Looking out there for Flanagan. With him there, Barry Delaney, the boundary umpire, has got a bit of work to do because it's out of bounds by side of the ground. 20-minute mark of the second quarter, gentlemen. And, uh, well, we're going Centrals have stuck away to a nine-point advantage out here in the second term. Barry umpire puts it back into play. Wilson's over the top of Evans, won the hit down, goes towards Matt Pilgrim, doing well in this game, picks it up, little Matty, chips the pass into centre half four, that's oh. a better looking forward move, 
and the mark taken by the drainer, Shane Andrews. He's inside 50, but he's a big kick into the breeze, I'd suggest. Go for goal. There's nobody in the goal square. There's nobody in the goal square, as you called, Jase. But uh, by the time he goes back the length of that run-up, they'll be about 300 there. <laughs> Here comes the drainer, Shane Andrews. Kicks from 48 metres. It's a lovely long kick. It's into the goal mouth. High flyers want it. They're in front. Clinton Shaw tries to crash his way through the pack. Loses the ball in the tackle. Flanagan dives in on top of it too. They put their arms in the air and say he was holding the ball. The umpire having none of that, I'm going to ball up. He said in the 10 the metre square. That's played those couple of foolish free kicks in Shaw and Ryan. And obviously that Clinton, Clinton uh, Shaw hasn't got a head either. Is that right? Shocking ball up. Also, hey. Travers through. Clinton Shaw, good work because he's let Flanagan get the ball back towards East. Can he make it? Yes, he can. Good diving mark by East and good kick by Flanagan. And what you're saying is Sean Ryan won't get a, won't get a grand final berth? Without a doubt. Now, I, I'm agreeing with Ron Lee. Very Clinton inconsistent. Shaw, free kick. Very inconsistent. Now, here's East. Out here at North. Could be worse. Could be over at West. Here comes East. He's got to bend this back with his left foot. He's bending it back. I don't think he bent it back far enough. No, bent too late. It's out of bounds on the full, in fact, down there. And we'll see a free kick coming up. And uh, Murray Travers, I think, will take this one once he retrieves the footy. Well, the Tigers, they really need to keep the ball in now and try and get a six-pointer. They haven't scored in the second quarter. And uh, we've gone a good 21 and a half minutes of the turn. Travers now goes towards Vilchens. He's going to have Henderson and also Evans, it falls to Vilton's zone, he gets a great handball to Edgar and they're running from half back now, up towards centre half, Ford Harton behind in front, Bath can't take the mark, Harton recovers first, he's going to get tackled though, Luddick running behind, he's going to have Paul Smith, Paul Smith one against two, Harton gets in there as well, he's going to have support again from Luddick, goes towards Bath, he can handball out or he gets one height, now he handballs to Clinton Shaw and they're out of trouble because he's got a couple of options, he looks around, he's got a bounce, he's going to get tackled by Paul Smith, he gets around him, Shepard he's back himself, but he's yeah. done it well, hasn't he? Gets two bounces, he keeps running, he's had three, he's nearly at half four. Well done. Stands there, good work, Clinton Shaw up towards Andrews, coming from behind. Johnson in front, tackled by College up. Pilgrim there also, umpire Ryan come in, comes in and bounces the ball. Good play, Clinton Shaw. What a great solo run. Actually, he's going to get collared, but all the Bannockburn uh, uh, bench down here started yelling at him. He heard him, he put on a bit of extra speed and, and got away. It was great effort by the young fellow. Bounced down at half forward for Bannock. Free kick here, whistle on play, oh, got to go. They're set both doing way. it. They're both doing it. How can he pick out a free kick? Well, for he one? gave it to uh, to the bet, uh, to the Central's player. He gave it across to Johnson. His uh, Flanagan, great work. His hand pass was bad. Intercepted by Flanagan. He's kicked into the forward line, and now we'll see Ronnie, Ronnie Pilgrim, rough Ronnie, yeah, rough Ronnie. You called him rotten Ronnie before. Well, Ronnie. Ronnie doesn't mind. He's an old stager, and I'll tell you what, he'll drill this right through the high diddle diddle. You can't use rough. Because it's rough Robbie Renderson, yep, rough you know Robbie that. Robbie Renderson, that's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, here comes Rotten Ronnie Pilgrim. Bang, it's home. Bannock Burn get one into the breeze. The one they badly needed, too, I might add. Yep. And a good one, too, because the interception was brilliant there from uh, Flanagan, wasn't it? The hand pass for the free kick to Vilchins went across to Jackson, who was up and running. But uh, <laughs> he tried one too many. And Corey Flanagan read it brilliantly. Got it down, and Ronnie Pilgrim did the rest. 6 6 42, where are we centrals? Batic Burn 6 3 39. Three points of difference on the GDFL bingo center scoreboard. The phone 218 484 out there if you want a game of bingo, Ronnie. Yeah, How'd you, you be sending Britt Rabeer out to play bingo? Yeah. <laughs> well, you got to <laughs> read know what number he had. Very popular <laughs> spot out there at Feldmunger's uh, Road there at the White Eagle House uh, for all the girls out there and boys to make uh, a few bob for themselves. GDFL bingo center's the place to go. 218. 4-8-4. Ball's back in the centre. Bounce down. Up by Nolan. Puts it on the turf. Could bounce that one. Gives Evans the chance to knock it down. East runs through the pack. Lost the footy though. Chance here for the Centrals. Oh, good tackle there on field. Caused him to lose the football. That was from East. The ball's in dispute of the centre of the ground. The Major left it behind. Picked up by Fraser of the Centrals. Tumbles a punt towards half forward. He's there again, is he? Yeah. Smith gathers the mark and plays it immediately. Oh, Spears a kick, kick out on the right foot. And he finds his teammate out there. And it's rough house Robbie Renderson. Rough Robbie Renderson goes towards East. He's going to have to hold out one play. Can't take the diving mark. The drain is there. Scotty Johnson's against him. Support from Pilgrim. Scotty Johnson on the ball. And the pack's surrounded by Tigers. East is there. Handball back to Flanagan. He's got Pilgrim. He gets him out of the way. He has to go straight across the ground towards Habib. Who's yeah, great vision. Yeah, good vision from Flanagan. He's found Habib just inside the centre square. Plays on quickly. Gets around one. He's going to have McClellan. He goes left foot. Poor disposal from Habib. He was rushed there. Werribee Central's have got the numbers. Can they get it out? It's at half forward. Jackson gets wrapped up. High tackle. Oh, too high. Yep. High tackle. Okay. the glasses right over yeah, the top well, of the I'm shoulder. I'm going to be very critical of the, the major on that occasion because he hesitated. 
the ball was free and rather than getting in on top of the ball he waited for Jackson and the poor tackle has forced the error and he gets the free kick 23 minutes back. gone the Bannock Burns put in Trappy's time clock goes towards McClellan who takes the mark plays on through the centre long kick Smith behind pa punches away good play Laddick roving gets through one tries to get through Rose as well and he's dropped the ball on this occasion good tackle Daniel Rose who replaced Wentworth when he was sent off and Rose will take the free kick and 50 metres as well for not get, letting Rose get up. Luddick there. Bit undisciplined again. Late stage of the second quarter. Well, bad play by Luke Luddick twice. He beat one tackle. Could have got rid of it. Tried to beat the second. And now he's given away 50 metres to the funeral yeah. director. He might learn if he comes off the bench and sits down for a while. There's a look. The Devil Dodgers got it. Ruddy. WD Rose. Here he comes. Right foot kick up towards half forward. High flies. Well, Delaney was one. He couldn't hold them out. They went back. Oh, got wrapped up pretty high. That one. That's it. Mark Lewin used to put that on as a sleeper hole when he was doing the wrestling. He's got him around the neck and the head and everything there. And it's a free kick to the lady out there at half back for the centrals. Goes towards the wing. Luddick leads in front of Rose. He picks it up. Good play. Left foot kick around the corner. McClellan runs past short. Will it stay in? It doesn't. And a throw in at half forward for Werribee Centrals. Out of side. Three points to difference. Yeah, just approaching time on in the second term. Good game of football out here at Osmond Park. Put you on 94.9 FM. That's guest video of him is country footy. Ball now back into play. Now at centre wing, out of side of the ground. Darren Fraser's got plenty of time to steady. Go in board and find Vilson played who on. played on. He's collared. Now the ball spills to Jackson. Brendan Jackson's hand pass. Back to Darren Fraser, who's been busy this quarter and finds the big fella in Darren McLennan at half forward. He looks across towards the centre half forward, the key position. Big fist on play there from Christian Silver's a good one. Got it, Clinton sure, I think you fight. Got it down to Hewitt, Hewitt round the boundary. Oh. Got it there towards Anderson, but one out of the way. Forgot the footy, Fraser didn't. He picked it up, but Central chips it in towards the two centre half forward position, and the mark is taken there by Robbie Edgar. Handballs towards Jackson, but it's a poor handball. Puts him under pressure. Tackled by Habib. There was Field, gets it back, good running. Barry Delaney, left foot kick and good vision because he's found Murray Travers down from the half-back flank. He's on 50 metres. Why wouldn't have Robbie ever get you gone back from 50 and put it in the goal square instead of a silly hand pass? Yep. They've got position back, they're lucky, but they're back where they started. He goes now, Murray Travers, kicks like a true defender. Misses to the near, far, sorry, to the near side, but Andrew Scott checks in and takes a good mark. Great pass, Murray Travers. <laughs> Just saw Scott out the corner of his eye there, so he put it out in front of him and took the grab. Uncontested too. Very poor uh, defence from the Bannockburn side on that occasion because there's no one within 10 metres of him. Obviously, Scotty watches him at training, knew where he was going to kick it, comes in, tries to bend it back. <laughs> he's missed everything. He's put it out of bounds and uh, he's kicked it a fair way out of bounds. This might take a while to come back. Here it comes now, but uh, not a particularly good effort at the banana or the check side punt, Ronnie. Nah, very poor effort there from young Scott. As we see now, it looks like Clinton Shaw out there in the back pocket for the Tigers. Taking his time. It's not a bad uh, idea at the present time. Time clock just ticking along. Out long to the half back flank. Oh, oh. Right. Henderson went to handball. Oh. Not a good one. <laughs> got another one. Well, kicks off the ground. Great work there, Robbie Henderson. To Damien Major Tom. In board he goes to Matty East. Left foot to the trainer. Oh, good. Ah. Great mark. Great. He had Scott Johnson and Murray Travis against him. He plays on quickly. Short little kick. He's got bar. He can take the mark. He plays on quickly. Poor kick, is it? No, it isn't because Corey Flanagan was there. Chipped in and took a good diving mark. Stormy winners made position in the pocket. Can it reach him? It can't. It's off his knee. Good play by Gee, Buck to get back there. Shocking pass by uh, Corey Flanagan. Yeah, sure, I'm putting that in front of someone, but that was about 23 yards. In fact, oh. uh, Stormy can't run that quick these <laughs> days to get that one back. Central's a chance here to get the ball out of defence through the agency of Rowan Beck. He received from field. He got it back there towards uh, Scott Johnson. The trap as it was. Left foot kick goes up the half back. Here comes Hewitt. Good use of the fist. Got it down to Flanagan. Uh, Henderson at what? Tumbled the pass oh. quickly to half forward. Andrews takes another exciting grab. Over the top of Major. <laughs> the Major wouldn't be too happy either because he wanted to kick this one. But I think... Uh, the drainer's a longer kick, Roddy. Yes, he is. And I reckon uh, he'll give this a real good shake from 45. Into a breeze. But he's now at centre half forward. <laughs> and a great picture on our monitor from Noel Fanning down there on the boundary line. Get a good shot of Shane Andrews lining up for goal from, well, he was lining up from 30. He's now lining up from 60. 
Runs in one, two, three, four, seven, eight, twelve, fourteen, fifteen paces. Goes bang. He's hooked it across to the right hand side. He has registered a minor score, but he's threatening to take this game apart. Shane Andrews with some high marking across the half forward line. Two goals to his personal tally this afternoon, and it's been uh, a very handy forward for the Tigers. Gareth Buck now goes to the outer side. Oh, oh chipping it, have him! Oh, oh, chopper, lovely stuff. And uh, he just settles for Surtees down. A lead there from Ronnie, Hen uh, Ronnie Pilgrim. A little bit too early, Ronnie, because he was still going back. Two points to difference on the GDFL Bingo second quarter scoreboard. Hewitt. Good kick. Lovely good kick footy. Habib. Pinpoint accuracy and uh, good lead there too. And, uh, oh, they'll gush Hewitt up there on the forward line now. Uh, for a pleasant change, this, this could go anywhere. Their halfback well, half flankers are running well down there. That, yeah, just sure. not sure where this is going to go. Watching Jake in screen, he goes for goal. He, oh, I don't know. It's just off line, one point only. So the halfback flank has got to be behind each. Paul Smith and Jake Hewitt. Would have been a handy one, but it's certainly made it a little bit tighter now, Ronnie. Yes, it's the siren's has. gone for half time. Well, at half time, Danny Burn, six goals, five. 40 points. They trail Werribee Centrals by one solitary point. 6-6-40. Six, six, 40, 42 plays 41, Roddy. So, uh, yeah, a good quarter of football there from both sides. I thought that Werribee may have got a bit more of a sentency, but due to the credit of Paul Smith at half-back for Bannock, but in that second quarter, really defended superbly. His pinpoint accuracy of uh, foot passing up the ground is superb to watch. And that is the reason why Bannockburn uh, one point behind at half time in the 95 Division 1 GDFL preliminary final. We had a draw here yesterday in the Div Division 2 grand final. It's on the cards again. It's one point to difference at half time. As we take a break, we'll be back with a third quarter shortly. That's right. Is that a play this one up as nine? 